Hello everyone, welcome back. So you can see I'm playing Devil May Cry 5 again, and today I'm going to be showing off Super Nero, which is incredible looking. And I'm just going to jump right into it. There are going to be sections of this mission that I'm just going to skip through just to get to the more gameplay-oriented parts, because fighting the bats, it's not really, it's not really very combo-intensive. I'll probably show like the first encounter with the bats, but then I'll just kind of cut past the rest. But yeah, as you would probably imagine, this video is going to be extremely spoiler-heavy, because, as you can see, he is in a Devil Trigger state here, which is very cool, because this actually, and again, spoilers for the rest of the video, <laughs> but this is actually what he looks like for the first, like, two seconds of the boss fight with Virgil, and then it just kind of disappears, but it's cool when you go into the Super Nero, he actually has it all the time when he's out of Devil Trigger, so it's very cool, and as you can see, his eyes have, like, a like a demon glow to it. So yeah, just like from DMC4, the Super Nero has infinite exceed gauge. So as you can see, it is extremely powerful. Almost broken, I would say. And then his charge shot, he actually has, it's, because there's two different steps. There's the color up, which is this right here. And then there's the charge shot. So the color up basically is just when you hold it down and you get three powered up bullets. It basically just auto refills. So as you see, once you're done shooting it, it just go ahead and reloads it, which is very nice. So it's like you don't have to charge it there. You do if you want to do the charge shot, just hold it down. And then as you can see, the gauge is charging up there. And it takes quite a while. It's a little bit longer than the other one, but it's very powerful when you let the first one off. But yeah, as you can tell, I don't have any Devil Breakers equipped, and you will see that he has his arm back as well. Which is very cool, and it's mostly just for the Super Nero showing that I didn't equip any Devil Breakers. And then we'll show you here. You go into the Devil Trigger, and then as you can see, he has full arms. <laughs> if you have a Devil Breaker on, it covers up the Demon Arm on the right side. But yeah, this is just basically his full form now. So you have no Devil Breakers, and this is what he looks like. And it's very cool. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get into the gameplay here. Just wanting to show off what the Super Character looks like in relation. And then as you can see, when you exit Devil Trigger, the wings come back. Definitely a big fan of how they handled the Devil Trigger in this game. That's actually something I speculated from the very beginning. That this game was going to be, obviously from the theme song, it's called Devil Trigger. So I was like, it's kind of weird that they're just showing Devil Breakers and they're not showing any Devil Triggers. So yeah, it's, I'm very glad they did it. And they saved it for like the very, very end for Mission 20. He just kind of just goes straight into it. There's really no lead up. After mission 19, when Dante and Virgil are fighting, he just goes straight into like running up a hill, and he's he's like uh, he's trying to stop them from killing each other. And just through sheer willpower alone, he just activates his devil trigger, which is very cool because the robot arm peels off, and then you just see the uh, his old arm come back, or not even really his old arm because it's a brand new one. Now that you've seen the arm in its full capacity, I'll go ahead and equip the Devil Breakers now. Oh, and I get two good ones. Nice. Yeah, the Mega is funny. I'll kind of show that off, too. Yeah, it's definitely very immersion-breaking if you're into that sort of thing. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's a way you can turn off the Mega Buster. I think it kind of, once it's in the game, it kind of just completely changes the experience. And now there's just a Mega Buster in the world. So, yeah, it's... Certainly immersion breaking if that's your thing. Yeah, I'll go ahead and show some Devil Trigger gameplay here. It's very cool because when you do the Snatch ability, and I don't think it works with Wire Snatch, but let's find out. Yeah, when you do Wire Snatch, it doesn't work. But basically what happens when you do the Devil Bringer Snatch ability, it actually pulls in two enemies if there are any nearby. As you just saw right there. Because obviously since Nero has like two demon arm wing things, he can actually pull out the other one too. So yeah, he is very, as you can see, just dispatching these enemies with no hesitation. <laughs> and this is on Son of Sparta difficulty, so it's just, it's pretty it's pretty high up there. And if I am correct, it looks like I'm actually healing, which is interesting. Because in all the previous games, going into the Super Form doesn't actually heal you. When you turn on, like, Super Dante or Super Virgil or whatever the previous games had, or even just Super Nero in DMC4 it actually, it wouldn't allow you to heal. That was something that they did in the reboot. So that'd be interesting if I'm actually healing this damage. I'll check the next time there's an enemy. I'll just let one of these needles stick me. All right, and activate Devil Trigger. And let's see. 
Okay, so it does not look like I'm healing. So yeah, it must have just been that I picked up uh, some green orbs or something. Because that would be very broken. <laughs> that's something that the reboot... Yeah, because that one just dropped some green orbs. But that's something that the reboot had, where going into Super Dante would actually heal you. So that mode was just incredibly easy once you got that form. Oh, and this right here, the bridge, by the way, if somebody's playing, they can actually cut the bridge down, but they don't have to. And you can just cross the bridge as V when you're doing one of those cameo systems. But if you do knock the bridge down, it actually opens up a new path for the Nero player. Which is very cool how it interacts that way. I really like how they incorporated online play into this. But yeah, it actually opens up a new path and just gives you some new, uh, new orbs. Possibly a Devil Breaker or two over there. Yeah, it's just a very powerful mode. I'll show you on some of these demons up here, just because they're they're the type. Why is my arm glowing, by the way? I wonder. That's just a... I don't know if that's just a ragtime thing. This uh, devil arm. Yeah, this one's good. It's kind of like Quicksilver from DMC3. And it actually comes from the same enemy type. It comes from the Guron, or Guryon, or I don't know how to pronounce that. It's the blue horse, essentially. You'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is the same kind of swing that he does on the Ice Demons, the, what are they called, Frost. So it's very cool that they have it in this one, too. Yeah, I wondered what they meant when they had the Devil Buster Breaker Arm. They had it as Early Access. I don't know if they, because I already had it when I got the Deluxe Edition, but I don't know if they mean Early Access as in you can use the Devil Buster before you get the Devil Bringer Arm. Oh, that just, that kind of freaked me out there. If you look up in the top corner, there's, um... It's very odd to look at, actually. If you look at my health bar, you can see, like, a reflection of the screen. If you look up there, you can see Nero upside down when I'm walking. See? You can see the, uh... You can see the wings flapping back and forth. Yeah, it's very trippy. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. It's kind of hard not to notice it now. But yeah, much like any super character, the game becomes extremely easy once you have the super turned on. So you definitely, it won't be the same kind of, same kind of experience when you have this turned on. Makes the game so much easier. And if it's anything like the previous games, I'm sure it'll penalize you for using it, like taking away some of your style points at the end of the mission. And then previously, like in DMC4, when you're using a buster move, you can continue pressing X like this to shoot summon swords into them. Which again, in spoiler topics, the, what people have been theorizing since DMC4 came out is obviously that Nero is Virgil's son, and that's why he has moves like the Summon Swords and why the Yamato caused his Devil Trigger to come out. And then, yeah, they just confirmed it. <laughs> it takes until, I think, mission... Technically, mission 18 is when they tell you, but it's pretty much at the end of mission 17. Because mission 18 is when you go and fight V's uh, demon creatures. Which, as you learn in Mission 12, V is actually the human side of Virgil, and then Eurozen is the devil side of Virgil. So it's very cool. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of revelations that happen in this game. Yeah, the fight with Dante and Virgil and the fight with Nero and Virgil are probably coming up soon. Those are probably going to be my next two videos. So keep an eye out for that. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just... That was the first hit I've gotten this whole video. <laughs> Yeah, you can see I'm just demolishing just waves of demons this way. And it's good that I have these super characters now, just in time for the Bloody Palace. <laughs> because I am not very good at the Bloody Palace, honestly. I'm a pretty good DMC player. I've actually just beat the game, as you can tell by using the super character. I just beat it on Dante Must Die. Which, I'm not gonna lie, on certain boss fights, mostly just the Virgil and the V's demon ones took a lot of gold orbs. But I made it through. Actually, when you play as Nero, it didn't really take me that much more. So I think the Virgil fight when you're playing as Nero is actually pretty much... It's like twice as easy, I would say. It's certainly not as hard as the Dante portion. And I think they might have done that on purpose. Because people are speculating, like, is Nero stronger than both Dante and Virgil? All that kind of stuff. But I don't know. I think it's mostly just because they were tired from their fight. As you can tell, they are very winded. <laughs> And then once uh, Nero fights Virgil and they have their strength back, they easily just, like, both of them do a dual backhand on Nero and send him flying. So who knows? Who knows what the uh, what the power levels are like? I mean, obviously, you can tell that Nero is a brand new demon, where it's like he's not, he's not really accustomed to the strength yet. He only had the Devil Trigger in DMC4 because of the Yamato. It was helping him tap into his power. And then in this game, just straight from, like, 
just him wanting the power, he gets it back. So yeah, as you can see, he definitely resembles a lot of the demon that's floating behind you in DMC4. And it's kind of like a more refined version of that. And as you can see, he has the horns kind of like Nello Angelo. So yeah, it's very cool. It definitely looks very Virgil-esque. Which obviously is what they're going for, given his lineage. But yeah, that was pretty much everyone's speculation. And it wasn't even like, it's good to see it confirmed, but I'm pretty sure everyone already had assumed that. It's just because sometimes you'll be like, oh, I know the outcome, and it, just, it turns out nothing close to that. So yeah, it's good to have it confirmed. But yeah, pretty much everyone going in was like, yeah, that's that's Virgil's son. <laughs> There's no way around it. See, just out of sheer habit, I went to go press left trigger to do the exceed, but I forgot that I'm playing as the broken version. <laughs> Try to use the Devil Buster on this one. Hold still. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's very interesting. This I really like the story in this one. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. That'll explain the sudden attack there. I actually haven't tried out V and Dante's super forms yet. Nero's the only one that I've really playtested so far. I'm assuming what it means for... Because I thought he would have infinite Devil Breakers as well, just to make him completely broken. Because obviously he already has... Uh, EX color up, which just like basically charges itself, so that's kind of broken on its own. And then you have the exceed gauge that's just constantly charged. You don't even have to charge it yourself. So I was like, well, the next logical step is that you can just use breakage moves all the time and not expend any energy. But that is not the case. They will still break if you use a breakage move. Now, one thing I haven't tested is that for something like Sweet Surrender, if you're sitting there healing yourself, and then they hit you if the Devil Arm will break. That one I'm not sure about. But yeah, this mission is pretty much over here. You basically walk into the next room and do a boss fight with what is revealed to be a lady. And this is actually the one that I didn't even know going in. I should have guessed, but from DMC3, there's a gun called Artemis, which shoots purple beams and has, like, silver and black metal on it. And the name of this boss is actually Artemis. So it's like... I went into the Nico report, and she was writing how they turned the devil arm into an actual demon itself, and I was like, oh, well, that kind of makes sense. But yeah, this part of this cinematic you've probably already seen in the trailer before, but you can tell right away just by looking at it that it's very much the gun, because it shoots the purple lasers and clearly has the designs for it. But yeah, I'll just let the cinematic play out here. Chit chat or monologue? Just getting right to the point, huh? Yeah, this demon is very creepy. You can tell they went back to the more like horror designs when it comes to these characters. It's obviously DMC four kind of went away from like they're more angelic looking, which was kind of the point for some of them, but some of them like Barrio was just straight demon, but he kinda looked more like a Final Fantasy character. So yeah, you can tell they went all in on the demon aesthetic. I wonder if I can pull the... Oh, no. Because you can actually, with Devil Trigger active, if you use Rawhide on certain heavy enemies, you can actually pull them in, like the Chicken Demon. Whoa. Watch out. Yeah, it's definitely going to make Hell and Hell mode a lot easier. Because I actually just beat the game on Heaven or Hell mode, and that one was pretty much a breeze. I beat the whole game in like an hour. Whoa. Now, I wonder, because when Virgil does a move similar to that, if you use the Buster Arm, you can actually grab him and stop him from doing it. So I wonder if you can do that with Artemis as well. Oh, I think I can Buster Attack. Oh, no. Okay, so that one damages you for sure. Sometimes the knockback moves, they only knock you back and flinch you, and then other times they damage you, so it's kind of hard to tell. It varies enemy to enemy. Oh, here we go. Now we can do the Buster Arm. Yeah, see, I keep clicking left trigger out of instinct. But I keep forgetting that I have infinite exceed. Yeah, when you do a buster attack with devil trigger active, you do way more damage. As you can see, you just took down a massive portion of that health bar there. And you'll probably see at the very end of this just how much it penalizes you for using the super forms. If I still end up getting an S rank, though, that would be very interesting. Oop. Come on, get back here. 
Yeah, I like how he has a built-in triple jump, too. Oop. Yeah. Because Dante usually only gets his when he's in the Devil Trigger form. Or, as I just learned in playtesting today, you can actually charge up your Devil Sword Dante and switch to Trickster, and you get not only a triple jump, but you get a double air trick as well. Or air sky star, as they call it. Which is very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm interested to try out Super V next, because I feel like he's probably going to be the easiest super character to play as. You just sit back and just let your demons do all the work for you. Slice. And this is where it's revealed that Lady is inside of the demon. Yeah, a lot of people are complaining on the internet, or probably not a lot of people, just like the same ten people on comment sections, <laughs> where I guess there's two scenes that they censored, which it's kind of, like, hard to tell anyway, because this one doesn't really look that censored, but the one where uh, Nico tells Lady to go shoveling, she drops her, like, uh, blanket that she's wearing, and there's a lens flare over her ass, but it's like there's another scene with Trish where it's just as exposing, but there's no lens flare. Because I'm playing it on Xbox, but I guess PS4 censored both of them. But it's weird how they would, like, selectively choose. They would censor one of them, but not the other. Even on the uncensored one. But I heard the Japan ones are completely uncensored. It seems strange to me, anyway. Because there's, there's a lot of swearing and a lot of violence in this game, so it's, it's a very weird decision. It's not something I'd go into forums and complain about. It just doesn't make much sense. It's like, you already got the M rating. I mean, just, just go for it. Alright, let's see the penalty. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a pretty big penalty. Let's go ahead and look at that again. Look at that. No continues. I got 1.2 multiplied on the penalties and bonuses. And then for a super character, I got multiplied by 0 0.2, which is very bad. So yeah, you will not be getting an S rating when you're playing on the super character. I can almost guarantee it. I don't even think if you did a no damage run and a no continue run, I still think you wouldn't get an S ranking. Yeah, that's pretty much in line with the previous games when you do super characters. But yeah, so that was Super Nero. Very cool character. Next up will probably be Dante and then V after that. But before those, I'm probably going to just go into the Dante and Virgil and then Nero and Virgil fights. Just to get those out of the way. Because tomorrow will be, I think, the two week threshold of when this game came out. And then, as you can see, there's an EX collar there, which makes sense that he looks the way he does, because he's obviously the human half of Virgil. But anyway, I'll be showing off the two boss fights first, and then I'll be going to the super characters. And then from there, I'll just kind of pick and choose what DMC videos to make. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you then.